Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Aloha Creations and this is Aloha and we are back again with a thrift haul video and I haven't done this in a while so I'm very excited because I, man, I got a whole bunch of stuff because our thrift shop, I think this was about a month and a half ago, they had um, this sale where, you know, it was $5 a bag and you just put everything you can fit in that bag and of course I I I, <laughs> I shoved everything in there as much as I could so um, only for the you know for the fabrics but uh, the other stuff like the china and jewelry and things like that are separate so maybe I can start with the fabrics so and here we go. So this interesting thing, I, I it says a dollar here, but that's not how much I paid for it. Um, I've, I haven't opened it actually, so I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see what it is. And I thought I could use this for um, a cover for my future Asian theme junk journal. And this is so lovely. This is, you know, quite common, this design. Um, yeah, it's so beautiful. And then it has this little piece of paper. Wow, this is actually really nice. It looks, it's paper, but it looks like it's um, leather. <laughs> That's really nice. And then um, I bought a sari dress. And this came with pants and a scarf, but we all know, like, look at this, look at this, um, what is this called, trim. It, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Uh, the scarf, I did, oh, here it is, here's the scarf. See? So I'm going to be removing this trim off of the scarf and using it for, you know, a future boho theme or or it could even be like a like a gypsy type of oh well, I don't know. I mean this is this is just ideas. You know how you buy things and you're like, well I'm gonna need that in the future but you you don't know when you're gonna use it, but you get it anyway. So, and then I got a whole bunch of, this was um, pillowcases and it was a set of three. I did wash it so it wrinkled up. I do iron the fabrics, which is the only time I ever pick up my iron. It's when I <laughs> iron my fabrics for making my junk journals. So I thought this was good. I thought this was really neat. I've never done um you know this kind of um bright colorful themed journal before so i figured maybe one day again it's one of those buys where you think you you know you're gonna use it someday so i thought you know this this could make really cool um junk journals covers like tns or something and it's like three different ones who knows <laughs> when that's going to happen, but I'm sure it will one day. And then, um, and then I got this, this, um, what, oh my gosh, oh, it unraveled. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, oh, for heavens, what, what do you call this, string? Um, well, whatever, but I, <laughs> I would use this to, um, wrap uh, a package, like say, um, you know, uh, when I do my happy meals, I, you know, I would wrap, you know, um, well, a package up in this, like an entire ribbon, or I could use this in, um, a tag or I would use this to make my um, tassels for my junk journals. 
So I thought that was really worth it. I think it was like, yeah, this was inside the bag because so I, I don't even know how to price it because it was five dollars for the entire bag. And then I got this really cool tin. And then it says Rembrandt on it. And then on the back, it's a biscuit. There were biscuits in here. And this is Victoria and then Holland. I can't pronounce that word, but it looks old, this tin. And um, this was actually had just, it, this wasn't even um, priced when I took it. And then she gave it to me for really cheap. I, a dollar, I think. Probably not even a dollar. I can't remember. But then I stuffed all the other stuff inside. So this was part of the $5 bag. I just grabbed a whole bunch of buttons. And I don't know why I have a lot of buttons. But because I see other crafters using buttons. And I barely use buttons. But I think they're so pretty. So I'm going to be mindful of my buttons because I really do want to incorporate buttons in my journals. Oops. What is this? Oh. Hmm. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Under twenty dollars I spent. Okay, so. Um, yeah, look at these vintage buttons. Seriously, I need to use these. And I have a whole bunch aside from these ones. Um, look, they're so cute and they're still in their little, you know, little carts. So that was, this is really neat. Um, look at this. This one, I don't know. They look really old. Oh, look at the back. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Buttons, more buttons, buttons. I don't know what's this one inside, what kind of button in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I didn't even see. It's like a fuzzy pink button. That's so cool. Okay. Um, and then I got this necklace. It's a domino. And it says two dollars, but I don't I don't I don't I don't think I paid two dollars for this. A dollar I think. And I saw it because I had this key here dangling and this little bobble. Um, charm and this is really cool. So uh, I'm gonna use this for for a charm for charms for my junk journal, future junk journal. And then I grab this. Well, I don't know. I right. It, it's pretty. I mean, I could I could use it for my table and then put you know my coffee table and put um, a vase. I really like it, so I don't think I'm going to use this for a junk journal, but I'm going to use it for just, um, you know, to place on top of a table, side table, coffee table, and put um, a, a vase with my flowers. And then I got a whole bunch of scarves. This is just one of them, and I have a bag full of it. and. I I have been actually this was what I did in the very beginning of um, making my junk journals when I was giving them as gifts I actually wrapped them in my old scarves that I didn't use anymore so I wanted to incorporate that again with my junk journals that you know I'm I sell is to to wrap them in these nice maybe vintage um, scarves would be nice to get one of those to get like an antique lace or something like that I thought that would give it a nice um, extra touch to your journals and I know I'm not the only one who who does this but I've seen um, other crafters uh, they wrap their scarves and uh, uh, they wrap the junk journals with the scarf so I thought that was really neat so I got a whole bunch I know I didn't take it out of my closet but I did get a bunch so this was one of them and then this was still in wrapping 
Etsy. Brand new. And I thought it was a scarf, but I guess it is a scarf. Or I guess it's a scarf, you guys. I, I should know this. But it could also be a table runner. Like, I'm not kidding. Uh, see? But it's silk. And I love this design. And, you know, I... I have a separate box for my Asian theme things so that when I do want to make another um, Asian theme junk journal, they're all in one little spot. And so this was really nice, but you guys, the back is velvet. Look, oh, it's a little bit fuzzy. And I usually use a, a sticky roller, a lint roller to remove that. But yes, this is so gorgeous, this brown and gold. It's so beautiful. And I am so silly. They had a whole bunch. I had a whole bunch. But I couldn't stuff any more in my bag, so I, I resorted to this one. And I should have grabbed some more. I'm so sad about it. But yeah, it was so beautiful. And they were still packaged, you know, and brand new. Like, I just couldn't believe it. So... Here's my stuff. These buttons. I have to use my buttons. Oh my goodness. I mean, how else do you guys use your buttons? I just feel like they're so bulky. That's why. On the page. You know, that's why. Like, this, this one has a little... I don't know. Like, yeah, it would just protrude out so, so much. And that's why. Well, maybe use them in a tassel. Anyways, moving on. So, how about maybe some paper goodies? So, oh, this was inside here. I just took it out. Like, look at this. This was a dollar. This vintage um, tin, you know, it has a stamp. It is so cool. And it has this cool design. I really love this tin. It's so cute. And it houses these um, cards. And it has these cooking recipe, you know, cards that you could put, write your recipe down. Like, it's so cool. And then there's these different ones. Look at this one. This one is on. And then it has this, you know, index guides and it has you could put oh it already has like beverage appetizers it's so neat so um yeah it just houses there but you guys my mind is thinking and i know i did i said that i might i might be or i'm, wa I'm wanting to open a an online shop this year and I'm gradually just collecting little things from my thrift thrift shopping and you know I'm thinking to the shop would be more for you know thrift finds items that you could use for your junk journals or just for your collection or just for display I mean I really don't have a clue as to what my shop will look like but I'm finding that I'm doing a lot of thrift shopping and um, things are accumulating and you guys I've told you many times I have a small space it's literally a corner of my room so yeah we cannot be hoarding and you know just it has to it has to be used <laughs> so when I buy things it's because I use them and I want to use them and I will use them eventually so another Asian item and I was flabbergasted about this because I, I can't tell you if it is vintage but it looks like it is but again I cannot confirm this to you but this writing set um this asian writing set with this marble stamp with still like red 
ink in it. I don't know if what kind of matter this is matter. <laughs> what kind of uh I don't know what this is. It's thick. It's not ink. It's not liquidy like ink. I it's it's I can't even describe it. I don't have no words, but it's really neat and this is a stamp. It's so cool. Maybe I'll try to see what it is. And I'll stamp something on the back and we can all see what it looks like. Let's give it a go. So it's this. Whoops. It's such a cute little container too. Look at it. It's porcelain or china or something. Let me just quick and see. I know this is what that is. Okay. Oh no, I didn't stamp it hard enough. Okay. Maybe like this. There. Okay. Try number two. Better. <laughs> okay, uh yeah, this might need to to get um tried a few times. So we'll see. Have to clean that afterwards but this she get i don't know you guys i think it was two dollars two dollars i should write these down and i'm so sorry but i'm telling you it is it was at just two dollars for this it wasn't any more than that if anything she probably charged me a dollar for this so this slab of stone I think it's supposed to be like, oopsies. What is this? This is some kind of, this is probably what the ink is supposed to be. I honestly, I have to figure this out because I should know this. Maybe I'll just ask my mom. You know, I think you wet it and then you, you know, rub it and then that's when you write. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's what that is. This is so hard. It looks like it's let charcoal. Like not charcoal, but that's what it feels like. Anyway, these awesome, awesome like pen brushes and, and this really cool design and this stone. And how's in this silk box? Wow, you know? Wow, wow, wow. It is so pretty. This this is so pretty. Anyway. And then this, it is a Jane Austen and it is not old, it is new. It's like 2000 and, I saw it somewhere, like 2000. But I still like it because the box, you know, Jane Austen, this little um, cameo on there that I might just take out. This is gonna be coming apart or not because look what's inside. She gave this to me for 50 cents because every it's missing parts. And I think there was a, a book here and it's not here. But I did try the pens, these, and they work. So um, let me just, I think that's it. This is what I was uh, having a hard time figuring it out. Figuring out is how you shove this here. Um, anybody know? Or am I missing a little piece, a, a, a tool to put this in? Oh, for heavens to Betsy. I tried this, I swear, and it worked. Maybe I just need to shove. Oh, there. There, see? Oh, and it's so pretty. I love the wood carving. This is why I, I got this. Um, it is so beautiful, this nib pen. And I did try it, it works because I have ink. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I haven't um, removed it in its box because I just kind of want to hang on to it just a little bit longer. I, I'm not going to be keeping the box. But I do like how this is made. See? Oh, it's like this. So neat. There. 
And then more papers. So this interesting. Wow, it was a dollar. Wow, wow, wow. And it's vintage. But I think someone painted over it. Honest to goodness. But you guys look. Oh, this is my drive. Oh, this is where I put it. Whoops. <laughs> I, uh, I need a system for drying flowers. I tell you. I need a system because I lose them. I put them in books and then I can't remember which books I flatten them in. <laughs> Look at these, they're so pretty. So my gosh, I have never in my life ever imagined finding round playing cards. And these are, vin this is vintage, you guys. Look how vintage it looks. And I have the original. I have only seen them in a digital print copy. And oh my lordy, how exciting is finding this and it was one dollar. I can't believe it was one dollar. Even the lady that sold it to me, she was like, what? She couldn't believe it and I bet you she wanted it, but sorry. Finders keepers. That was so fun. I This was very exciting find. So, another find. Okay, wait. Let me start with the charms. Okay. Oopsies. Um, there you go. Let me just start with... Hmm, I find so much of these Eiffel, Pear, Eiffel Towers charms all the time. And I tell you, I do buy them because, I don't know, this was, it, she get, I don't know, she gave it to me for 25 cents. And this one too was like a dollar. This is so pretty. It's um, a map in this, you know, cased in this, I don't know, glass case. It's so heavy. And then I found this random moon metal something. And you know me or most of us or some of us, I really don't know, but I do buy all the time just thinking, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna use it one day. This is really interesting looking and I bet you one day I will use that for something. And then we don't know what this was. Even the people that sold it to me didn't know what it was. Soap something. She, what is this? Like this type of, oh, wow. I didn't even realize that it like glowed a little bit. They're Asian. Like, look at it, it is so neat. And it's got, you know, I think it's supposed to be a, you know, a, 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 a necklace. So, I don't know. The person at the store couldn't tell me what they were, but she, oh. But, um, and then this one has a chip on the back, see? Um, they look, they feel rock. See? See? Oh, I don't know, but I, I like them. And again, future Asian theme, um, journal. Whoops, I don't know why my necklace got tangled there. My husband gave that to me. So, and then I got this necklace. This was oddly the most expensive one and it was $3, but I loved it. Oh, there's a Gwen. Oh, the, the, there's, a, there's a name, it says Gwen on this, but I like it. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna wear it as a necklace or use it as a, as a charm for another junk journal. Um, 
yeah, so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. And then this, oh, this is so neat. Oh, you guys, I found this, it's so cute. It's a book page marker, so like a, a, a bookmark. But it's, it's, a, it's a jewel. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful, I had to have it. So, oh, it's just so beautiful. Like I should be using it now, but because I'm waiting to do this, I keep everything together, otherwise they're all gonna get lost. And then I don't know about you guys, what in the land, but this, <laughs> but because this is, um, um, what's the metal? Because this is um, brass and it says cat and the fiddle and it's like some kind of spoon. Yeah, you tell me, I mean, it looks so cute and it's a cat and a fiddle, you know, the, the rhyme and it, it's vintage and it's so cool. I just think it's so cool. I'm gonna display that somewhere. Okay, and then, okay, so I'm just gonna leave that for that. And then I have um, my little, little china. So that and this and this. Okay, fine, maybe I'll move it out of the way. Oh, I forgot this little person. This Russian doll. Oh my gosh, she was somewhere. She, I bought something and she was inside. And I can't remember which, what it was. Um, she was inside. Oh yeah, I bought a, I bought a bag. And she was inside here. And she, she was inside that purse. Oh, so cute. Look how tiny. So I just placed her in there. But anyways. Uh, this is so cute. This one, there's nothing, no stamp or anything. But I love it because it's got the rose and the swan. And I'm going to put it in my um, printer's tray display. And then I found this. And it's got a stamp. I don't know, 18... 77 GDR and it's got a crown. So is it English? Anybody know? But anyway, I love this little ring holder and I place it right beside my sink when I'm washing the dishwasher, uh, when I'm washing the dishes and I just remove my rings quickly and I put it here. And then I found this. Um, Royal Worcester, England. And is this a sugar bowl? Or I, I honestly don't know. But I love it. It is so cute. Like, I love the, the roses and the flowers. And I love these little things like this. And it's just so cute. Somebody tell me what this was, what it was used for. But I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But for now, it, it is just displayed. I have a little china cabinet that I put all my china in and my tea set and things like that. So this is so beautiful. I just love it. And then I found this brass basket. It's so it's very nice. So I'm all about brass and china. That's what I like. I love, love, love it. This is so cute and it, the handle is movable. And right now, um, I'm putting all my little jewelry junk like this in right there. Right now, but honest to goodness, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. I love displaying my things um, in front of my desk, above my desk, and that's what I do. And then this odd thing that I bought also. Oops, almost forgot. So this, this was 25 cents and they're just little vials. So, you know, you're just journaling. And for now, you guys, that is it. I, this was, again, it wasn't a one shop. I, I go off, like I go once or twice 
and then I just put things together and do one video haul for you. So, guys, what do you think of this haul? So exciting, so neat stuff that I found this time. I mean, I always love going to the thrift shop and finding all of the things that I need for my junk journal, my junk journaling, and my little um, collection that I have. <laughs> So I don't know, what is your favorite thing to do when you're at the thrift shop? And what are you looking for? In, do you go when you want to look for something specific or you just like to wander around and look at all the treasures and then find that treasure that you didn't realize you needed and then you buy it? <laughs> so guys, again, I had such a wonderful time. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope you guys would like and subscribe. And I also have an IG. I post more things there and that's where I sell my junk journals. And if you guys wanna know what I'm, what I'm up to, I post my stories there as well. So have a wonderful time, you guys, and spring is coming along. So get inspired. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.